Hello everybody, it's Jamie back again with another gameplay of Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the PS3. Playing Squad Deathmatch using the M416, Red Dot Sight, and Magnum Ammunition. Which seems to be the way that everybody rolls in this game, so you don't want to be at a disadvantage, so it seems like you need to use that perk, we could call it. Just rolling around in the tank a little bit here. I got uh, me and a couple of my friends. Uh, the key with the tank, of course, is have one guy's engineer. So if you get hit by a rocket launcher or anything of that sort, you have a guy to uh, repair the tank for you. And that way, of course, you can uh, get some more kills with it. One of my friends is actually uh, doing the driving here, and he likes to uh, take down a few trees on his uh, way to tracking down the enemies. And likes to take some different routes, but uh, what do you do? That's another great thing about uh, Battlefield series is you have destructible environments and uh, if things are in your way you blow them up so you can see where things are. We got a guy there gets one rocket on us but I jump out and I think he's just around the corner here and see ya. I should have knifed that guy first. But I guess I forgot. So there's nothing you can do with that. So I jump back in the tank. I notice I got the side view now. Not a big fan of that. So I do believe I hop it again in a few moments. But I can't quite remember yet. There I go. Out again. And as I mentioned, this is the uh, best gameplay I have had in a squad deathmatch. So this is why I decided to upload this one. Hope you guys are enjoying my videos and commentary. I uh, would really appreciate if you guys could leave a little bit of feedback so I can get a better idea of what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Just trying to uh, start this channel out and see how things go. Uh, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos around with all kinds of different gameplays, lots of big time commentators, that kind of thing. Just trying to do my thing and hope you guys enjoy it a little bit. Uh, certainly enjoy making them. Again, it's just something I like to do as a hobby and really enjoy the Battlefield series and just cannot wait for Battlefield 3 to come out. It's only getting close to a month away. So that's going to be pretty epic, I hope. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be so good as the the gameplay we're seeing online, but it looks to be pretty exciting, to say the least, with the graphics and stuff that they have on the go. And the maps are absolutely huge, jets and everything else, so it's going to be pretty epic, I think. So I had a question for you guys. Uh, I tried to figure something out regarding to uploading video stuff on YouTube, and I'm, I mean, I'm subscribed to a lot of different uh, commentators, as most of you guys probably are as well. So I asked a lot of them a very simple question, and I didn't get a reply from a single individual. I don't know if you guys have tried to interact with the people you're subscribed to on YouTube, and if you have, I'd like to know what your reaction has been, because it seems to me that, you know, they want you to subscribe to their channel, they want you to like their videos, they want you to, you know, do this, that, and something else, uh, I guess you don't have to, but I mean, if you subscribe, why not help them out, but it seems like when you ask questions, you just do not get a reply, I don't, I don't understand that, because you're the ones that support them, what they do, and for them to answer a very simple question was nothing difficult, didn't have require any thought whatsoever, just a very simple question, just a basic yes or no answer, and I did not get a reply from a single individual, which I thought to be relatively amazing because, you know, why would you not do that? I mean, we are the people that support their channel and help them grow, and because we sub, we like their videos, other people sub, like their videos, whatnot which is what I hope to for my channel to do someday, but I mean, I know I'm a long way from that. But I just found it a little bit frustrating, to be quite honest with you, that uh, these people wouldn't answer this question. And I could not figure it out for myself, or I wouldn't have even asked it. Uh, but I guess, you know, when you get up to the amount of subscribers these channels have, they get a lot of questions asked, and, you know, that is a valid argument without a doubt, but, you know, this wasn't a question that needed them to type... Uh, an essay or anything, it was just a simple yes or no question, but I guess maybe they get a hundred of those a day, I have no idea, or a thousand or a hundred thousand, I, I don't know. But I just wonder what you guys, uh, you know, if you've been in the same situation, and if you have, if you haven't gotten a response from the bigger YouTube channels, or is it just kind of a lost cause to ask them a question? 
Because I want you guys to know that if you guys ask me a question, I'll certainly do my best to get back to or at least acknowledge that you asked the question. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think, to take two seconds uh, and type a yes or no or do this, do that kind of thing. And I personally think that if you guys are watching my video and you like it and you tell me you like it or you tell me you don't or whatnot, uh, your feedback is why I think you do this uh, at least for me anyhow and you know if you were to ask me a question I don't think it's too much for you to ask for me to answer your question but that's my rant on that I think I'll drop that now because uh, I'm sure you guys have been in the same boat if you have let me know and just let me know what your response has been would appreciate that and then again like I say I'm rolling around with the M416 probably my favorite gun in the game uh, just seems to work for me uh, in the assault class, in the engineer class. I like the UMP again with the red dot. Uh, I, for some reason, I need to have a red dot on pretty much every gun I have. Uh, it's just a habit I think I got into. Find the uh, iron sights in this game to be a little bit big, and I find you can't really track the enemy the same. Uh, again, that could be just me, but that's just what I find. And again, rolling around a couple of my friends, and just do a ramble move on this guy. And thank you for the tags there, sir. I'll maybe try to get another set off you again later. Love taking tags in this game. I mentioned in the last video that uh, it's a bit of satisfaction to that. And uh, the guy you take them from does not enjoy that whatsoever. I know when I get uh, knifed, uh, you're like, well, that is not great. So, anyway. One of those things that uh, in Battlefield 3, I think they're going to make it a little bit better. From what I see, you had to sneak up right behind the individual, uh, not just from the side to the left or right. You had to be directly behind whoever it is you're trying to knife. Uh, when you do, you, you get his tag, some kind of deal, but I think it is a little bit more difficult to do. So that's kind of good. Uh, I don't think knifing should be something that you uh, do easily. I think you know you should the element of surprise in order to take some of these dog tags and I know that in Battlefield 3 you're going to be able to customize your tags so that's a little bit better uh, that when you take them there's going to be a little bit of customization to the tags like right now it's either bronze uh, silver or gold if you uh, know somebody that's at the highest level in the game which is a 50 and uh, again if you know somebody that's a 50 uh, you know they're should be pretty decent players and you know for sure they do not like getting their tags took so that's uh, pretty cool when you get them uh, I don't think I have a big lot of level 50 tags, maybe a dozen or so. I know a lot of people have a lot more than that, but again, I've only been playing this game for probably three or four months uh, in anticipation for Battlefield 3. Uh, I know Modern Warfare 3 is coming out, uh, Gears of War 3 uh, is coming out, I think, tomorrow from the day I'm doing this video. I know uh, some of my friends that I play this game with are moving over there on the... Xbox anyway, so I guess I'm going to have to kind of create a new squad for the next month or so because they are coming back to Battlefield 3 as I think uh, everybody's going to get that game a go, or at least anybody should anyway. Based on what I've seen, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so I just uh, would like your guys' thoughts on uh, what you would like to see in my videos going forward. Uh, I'm going to try to make, s of course, in Battlefield 3, probably do a walkthrough on the... Uh, the game as it is, uh, then of course uh, lots of multiplayer. Uh, here they're going to have some team deathmatch in that. Uh, of course Rush is there, Conquest is there. Uh, I know a lot of people's game types are the objective type games, but I find if you start the night out playing a team deathmatch game, like we did here, a squad deathmatch to call it here, it kind of gets uh, gets you warmed up and gets you ready to go for the probably what you could say the more oriented type games and find if you get warmed up a little bit makes it a little bit more easier and get your squad set up and that kind of thing because sometimes uh, as you guys all know you one guy's got to leave one guy comes back and on and it goes I get uh, taken out there I'm not sure how many kills we have left I think it's either four or five uh, we do win this game I can tell you that and again it's the best score I've had in this game I was pretty excited when I got it I know the game after this one had a pretty decent score as well, but I wasn't recording, so that was my own uh, silly fault. But what do you do? Uh, can't record them all, I guess. So, get lucky here, a little bit of spray and pray. I find you got to do that 
especially in close quarters, I mean, it's no good to try to uh, aim down the sights because by the time you do that, you're pretty well dead. So, right, uh, chuck this grenade a couple hundred yards. <laughs> I wish you can actually throw a grenade in real life that far. I mean, that's that's a gee whiz. I mean, that landed on the other side of the map, didn't it? All right, so. I mean, the guys are coming down here. As you notice, this whole map, uh, sorry, uh, this whole match, we're down around the uh, C flag area. And as I said in the other video, that, that seems where all the action on this particular map seems to uh, take place. And I find if you control the area, we had a guy on our team that was using the motion balls, and uh, he was kind of telling us where they're coming, left or right or whatnot, so we kind of work with each other. And, uh, you know, if he died, he came back, same kind of thing, spawning us, staying in the same area. And, you know, again, make sure you roll with an engineer assault so you don't run out of ammo. Uh, medic and squad deathmatch is not that important because your tickets don't get uh, uh, put back up if you do revive an enemy. Oh, there we go. There's the game. Uh, again, we did win that one. My score will come up here shortly. Uh, again, it was a great one. So if you guys like my videos, I would appreciate if you could hit the like button. Check out my channel. Appreciate you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on what you'd like to see. Uh, appreciate you guys dropping by. Final score was 27 and 9, I believe. I can't really see it there now, but it was pretty decent. Got a heck of a lot of pins, as you can see by the bottom. Anyway, guys, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you around next time.